The Holy Spirit has been asking us over and over and over again, how far do we want to go? I want you to raise your right hand and I want you to say this after Mars tonight. I am a part of God's end time plan. And God has not planned any, any, any defeats for me. Now, if somehow, and I believe you'll get the breakthrough tonight, if somehow God could take us, if somehow tonight he could open our eyes and help us to see as we've never seen before, if somehow he could lift us spiritually to a new plane, we would see that God planned, when he planned for this church, when he sent his son, when he paid that incredible price, you and I would see that God planned for us to have the very same power as Jesus had. Amen. God planned. He planned it for us to have the very same authority that Jesus had. He planned for us to have the very same ability. He planned for us to have the very same manifestation of faith that Jesus had. And he planned for us to have the very same anointing, the same Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit. Everybody say the word same. 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 Holy Spirit that Jesus had, not a different Holy Ghost. The same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead. Is it no wonder that Jesus said to us that the works that I do, you're going to do? Is it any wonder? Now, come on church, how far do you want to go? You want to go here? You want to go here? You want to go here? You say to me, Mars, what are these different points? They could be various things. Most of us, in our experience, everybody say the word experience. experience. We only go to what I call the point of blessing. I love to see people just have a wonderful time in the Holy Spirit. But unless we learn how to go past the point of blessing and we go on 
into what God planned for the church. You can talk spiritual warfare all you want to, but it'll be like a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal, and it'll be hollow, and it'll be empty. I don't know about you. I'm not interested in words. I'm not just interested in people shouting or people talking. I want to see after you shout, after you talk, I want to see the devil come out. I, I want to see the sick heal. I don't want to see you take them in the back room when all of a sudden they get contorted. Now, come on, let's get the mask off. There's a big gap between what we preach and what we see. Now, by the grace of God, we've got to close that gap. I have got to close that gap. You have got to close that gap. We've got to begin to understand that this is not a play thing that when God gave birth to this church, he intended that this church have the same power, the same authority, the same anointing as his son who paid the price to give it birth. You're going to receive a breakthrough. It's going to take you past the point and it's going to bring you into the experience of power. P-O-W-E-R. You shall receive power. Power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Now, one of our big mistakes that we make in Pentecost and in the charismatic movement and in all of the movements that there are today, we make it in every one of them, is we put the emphasis on the power. But that's not what Jesus meant. He put the emphasis on the relationship that you would have with the Holy Spirit. And we pass that relationship. We pass it by. It's too deep for us. We pass it by. We want to jump start to the tongues because that's what everybody emphasizes. We want to jump start to the manifestations. We want to jump start to all the and we forget that the power will only come after we have an experience with the Holy Ghost. You don't have an experience with the Holy Ghost. You don't have the power. The reason why 90% of us in this building can't manifest the power, we've never stopped long enough to have an experience with the Holy Ghost. And he said, when this happens to you, he said, I'm going to tell you, you're going to change the world. Oh, come on. There's no devil that's going to be able to stand up in front of you. There's no sickness that'll stand up in front of you. Yes, Peter, your shadow healed everyone, not 15%, not Put your hands up, it's all right, go ahead. You say, Morris, what are you doing? I'm talking to the Father, I'm talking to the 
Come on! 